Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Lorna playthrough. Um, last we left off we vandalised government property. <laughs> we blew up an entire bridge. <laughs> um, and just to add insult to injury we also uh, ruffled some feathers with the army or Uncle Sam. Thank you all by the way who everybody who messaged in and let me know where Uncle Sam uh, the name came from. Really interesting um, how that came to be. Um, if only he knew it was still carrying on to this day. Um, so yeah we blew up a bridge, we um, were just general hooligans. <laughs> We captured an Irish man and he got shot and that was sad. Um, and we got a lot further with the ghost of Agnes Dowd as well. And I'm not done yet, as long as there's more to hear. I would love to hear more of the story, I'm so invested in her story now. Um, so, as I can recall, I believe what is left on the table is to go and speak to Charles and I think Eagle Flies needs our help. Um, so we're going to go and rescue eagle flies. Um, Sadie is on a bit of a vengeance mission and has asked for our help, so we can see about doing that as well. Um, and I can't remember if there was anything else. Um, I know that we're, we really are getting up to the end of the game now, but we're not quite there yet. I think we've still got a little bit to go, so... It's definitely steering closer and closer towards that, though. Um, so yeah, let's put on our cowboy boots and get stomping into whatever is going to happen today. <laughs> I think this is actually the first episode I've recorded since I went to Ireland. Um, I know I released one while I was in Ireland, I think, but I'd already recorded that beforehand, so... Um, I had a really, really good time. I found a wanted poster. It was an old one, but I did find a wanted... Um, poster. Um, they had a Doyle's pub, which is almost like a Doyle's tavern. Um, and what else was there? There was another like, oh, they had a tram. So kind of like Saint Denis, obviously a bit more modern. There was a weird amount of connections to Red Dead that I didn't expect to find. I did see some Irish people dressed in black and green as well. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know I didn't hog tie and kidnap any of them. <laughs> I had really good self-control over there. <laughs> I didn't meet anyone as cool as Sean though. He's still my favourite Irishman. Major railroad junctions are being watched. There's Pinkertons out patrolling the roads. If we go all together, we're doomed. I know. Maybe if you and I can slip out to Blackwater, hmm? then send word once we get the money we stashed there. I don't know. I think. What we gonna do, Dutch? We were just discussing it. What we need is a distraction. Now we have got Pinkertons, and Army, and everyone. They're just jumpy as all hell. If we can somehow, if we can get everyone to start shooting, maybe we can sneak out the side while everyone else is just sniffing gun smoke. New York, maybe. I don't know, but, but that is our way out of this trap, gentlemen. Hey, Arthur, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What? Micah, 
Cowpoke, you happy now? Happy about what? Look around you. I don't really care. That much is clear. Another night in paradise. Evening. Oh, you've like color coordinated your skirts. Cute. Hey, Mary Beth. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? You act like I'm the only one with any goddamn answers. How do I deserve that? Uh, Karen? Hey. How are you doing? Just trying to drink my way through it. Uh-huh. Okay, as evening is setting in. I did take a nap because I can't remember the last time I got Arthur to sleep, so I'm gonna head to the swamps. See if we can catch another conversation. Hopefully. You just keep on throwing your knives, Sadie. Have a go. Isn't that where Black Bell lives? I can't remember why I didn't end up getting the missions. Is she in? Nah. Oh, that's a shame. I love Black Bell. You know what would be really cool? If Red Dead Redemption 3 on, was yep. based around them, Jim Boy Calloway, Billy Midnight, Black Bell, the others, I've forgotten, the Mexican guy up in the north. Like them when they were younger, when they were like a proper gang. Well, they were gunslingers. Is that it? My horse didn't get spooked, so I don't know if that's everything. Maybe it's because I didn't look at her through the scope. Then why th would the horse care? The horse isn't looking. Okay. It's cleared up now as well. So that's kind of what we've already touched on before. Whoever this guy is or was sounded like he um messed her around a bit okay let's do another one yeah. Still gets me. 
She kicked her dad out the room. <gasps> Kids these days. Why was her dad gonna make her cry? What was he saying about that man? Okay, let's just do one more. One more and then I'm done. I can stop anytime I want, okay? <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we'll carry on with our lives <laughs> I don't think we're going to get another tonight I'll give up now for now we'll maybe try again a bit later or next time I think oh there's a couple of dead people that'll be the Murphy Brood I think I'm going to Head up and see Charles. Let's get that one done. Let's go rescue eagle flies. How on earth did that happen? Oh no! There is a bridge that has broken. <laughs> well, I guess these things happen. Must have been a storm or something. <laughs> Can you actually see the... Oh, it's still got boxes of ammunition and stuff, have we? Is that the ladder? Wow. Yeah, no train is getting across there, is it? Hey, careful how you go! Can't you see I'm tracking game here? You ain't tracking shit. I was you, I'd go home. You're wasting the poor animal's time. Shh. Oh, this is pathetic. You even know how to use that damn weapon? Hey, there's plenty of country out there, so go find your own patch. God damn it. One of them days. At least I saved you the embarrassment of missing. Let me alone. That's all I want. What a guy. Teepees are so cool. It's good. He has proven his faith. Morning to you. Ah, hello. You folks okay? Hmm. Well, take care now. Goodbye. Such a cool design. It makes so much more sense than our little rectangles. I am too old for hunger, so I am lucky. The young ones weep for food. But this is the way of things here, yeah? Who's talking? Is it here? Rain's ball took another trip. Looking for help, my sister says. Hmm. Mister? Hello. Hi. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point, I say? I see. Well, nice to meet you. Goodbye. Are you going to punch someone? <laughs> no, I'll be nice to it. Feels wrong to cause a ruckus. I'll go and punch someone else later. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Hello. Hello there. Rain's so, is in his you tent. you heard anything about any uh, bounty hunters in these parts? I don't know. Yeah, I, I was just uh, wondering. So long. Just wondering. Hello? 
Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. I need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Yeah. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. This point, I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along, but he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy? You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. 
I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. We need to get across this river. Mm. Just here should be okay. The water is shallower, but the current still looks strong, so be careful. Or oh, Red Dead Redemption 3. I'm still holding on to the idea of the time that was. That would be cool. Ending with black water. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. That's like England. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. moving. Come on. Good. Let's keep moving. Tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Okay, come on. Around the back. This is the spot. I love Charles, he's so cool. Everyone needs a child. <clears throat> Oh, I see. Uh... You deal with this one. All right. 
Okay, let's move. the distraction try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there start a fire you should have a clear shot from the walkway up there Morgan? Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. Oh. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. My specialty? Yeah. As if Charles needed me at all. Mom, <clears throat> your father sent us. My father, he told you to come and kill guards. No, you didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. No. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Damn it! We'll have to shoot our way out. You must be out of your mind. You got long legs. That nearly hit me. Come on, move up. You're up against the U.S. Army.
seeing a hole in one of the walls when they brought me in. No. It's been sealed back up. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? Come on, right 
couldn't I don't see. see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? Thank you. No mention. Yeah. Head over that way. You'll be home in no time. Well, thank you, mister. Am I glad I asked? I <laughs> got myself rightly spun around. Yeah. You actors don't beat on. <laughs> well, hello there. This town just seems all the same to me. It's this way, right? Never thought I'd see the light. Sure. Is that my house up ahead? Looks sort of familiar. Smells like it should. It's a stable. How bad does your house smell? I'm a terrible person. Wrong house, buddy. <laughs> Are you kidding? I was gonna run off and not even follow him. I'm gonna get in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> hey, oh. Hi, sorry. I realize you are literally the little guy. <laughs> you can follow him, that's so cool. <laughs> he thought the horse's ass was his wife? <laughs> what did he have to drink? <laughs> That's some powerful stuff. Hey, get yourself out of there. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Do I know? You're about to get shot to... Hey, better not have a problem with this friend. Hey! What are you doing there? You 
get bored of robbing graves, little man? I've seen some weasley crooks in my time, but you take the prize. Well now, up to no good, are we? You're nothing but a two-bit criminal. Stop trying to act tough. You folks around here actually do any work? It's all right, save your breath. Don't want you wearing yourself out now. You ain't tough, my friend. But you know how to look it. Pathetic. But at least you're trying. See you in hell! That hey, let me see that ugly mug. To finish what you started. Oh, yeah. You're done for! Oh, that was what... That hit a nerve. <laughs> that was so weird. But kind of cool that I got to hear all the lines. know what Mike was referring to earlier <laughs> but I've not come across any Pinkertons on the road on one hand I wonder if it's just because it would be too frustrating for the player to have to deal with Pinkertons all the time but if we take it literally as is then it's almost like Micah is trying to make Dutch think that things are more intense and um, that we're running out of time to try and get him to make impulsive choices like because right afterwards he was like oh we're penned in and they're closing in on us maybe we should break away to Blackwater and get all that money whereas maybe Dutch wouldn't be as um, persuaded if he thought he had more time so if we just take it as is as if I haven't just been very lucky, Arthur's not been very lucky and actually there aren't many Pinkertons around. It could be like Mike is just um, yeah, making it seem like a lot worse than it actually is to try and get Dutch to make a move. Sneaky. I wouldn't put it past him. Those aren't his friends already, are they? Already? We're already at this point? Ah, you paying us a visit, Morgan? Come over to the other side of camp, have you? Cross the Great Divide? Apparently so. Cleet and Joe are good boys, Arthur. I rode with them a long time ago. Best thing that could have happened to us, really, me bumping into them again. Best thing, right, boys? Yeah, sure. Now, Arthur's. Arthur's a kind of sullen, angry man. And he ain't well. Not well at all. Sad, really. But what can you do? Guess we all gotta die sometime. <laughs> Shut up, please. <laughs> Did she laugh? You know, once uh, once all this gets shaken down a little, calm down, we're gonna get we're gonna get going on business, boys. Good business. I got good ideas. Mm, me and Dutch, we both have. We've talked about Australia. It's an amazing place. More land than you can imagine. We'll go someplace good. Dutch has got plans. Good plans. He has. Would you fit right in, Micah? They got lots of snakes over in Australia. You'd be the worst one there. You think you're the cat who got the cream, don't you? Maybe you should go lie down, Black Lung. But you're nothing but a conniving weasel. Who are you? 
Name's Joe. I'm with Micah. With Micah? Well, more fool you. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. All right. Just what you doing here? Micah brought us in for the train job. Name's Cleet, by the way. He did, did he? Okay. Well, I'll be watching you, Cleet. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Well, all right, my friend. Mutual friend. That bridge is done. Very good. Just the distraction we need. I hope so. Why didn't you come get me? I told you. Time weren't right. Are you doubting me too, Arthur? The pair of you depress me. They was gonna kill me. I thought... I thought... You thought too much. You are precious to me. Real precious. But next time... Let me do the thinking. And I just do the hanging. You just do what I tell you, and we'll be fine. We ain't dead yet. Remember that. Clear off, Arthur. You're starting to annoy me almost as much as him. Okay. And that was intense, and I was stuck in the middle. A lot's changed since you last saw him. No, it ain't. Last time I saw him was in the bank when he left me to get arrested. You're meant to be his favorite. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, uh, I was his favorite. Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. You're gonna be okay, but be ready. Just be ready. I understand. We've all met her sword. Pay her no heed. You revolt me. The feeling is mutual, my dear. Go. Have another drink. Damn you! <laughs> Don't let Mikey get to you. You're all as bad as each other. I'm trying to look out for you. Can we palm it with Micah? Good evening. Hey. Oh, I don't like you. Hey. hey, why don't you go easy on her? I ain't forcing the liquor down her throat. I don't know about that. <laughs> well said, Arthur. Well said. Okay, son. I'm getting nervous, boss. Me too, son. But we'll be okay if we stick together. You don't think we should scatter? Scatter? We have a problem to solve. We solve it together or we die alone. We run. They'll pick us off. One weak, desperate fool after the other. Ain't that so, John? I guess. I guess one of these days we'll find out. Come on. Both of you. A little faith. A little faith. Tomorrow's another day. Uh-huh. John? Hello. How did it come to this? I don't have a short answer to that. Well, 
You had a lot of good years. Take care. All of you. No times are tough. I with Pleat and Joe but riding don't with us feel now, like Dutch will see us home. We'll see us safe. I get why you folks is worried. I do. But we got a plan. We're gonna be okay. Now ain't the time for all this doubting. The truth is. The truth is, you're breaking Dutch's heart. And I cannot bear watching what you're doing to him. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. Just be quiet, will you? God damn it. Be quiet. <laughs> no. You be quiet, you fat fool. You be quiet. The quiet are the dead. Well, in that case, please do be quiet. <laughs> Well said, Pearson. We were all thinking it. Mr. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but... It feels odd to me. Yes. Very odd. Well, try to keep your head straight. Yes, yes. Getting more the camp conversations now. All of a sudden. Williamson. Another night in paradise. You all right? What's wrong? Like you don't know? We're all in this together. Sure thing, Morgan. Okay. I know we only did one mission, one main mission. Um, but I am going to call it a night there because <laughs> it has gone 1am and I have to be up early for work. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to manage that, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's much left in me to do any more tonight, so we'll end the session there. I am actually starting to think we might be a lot closer to the end than I thought. I thought we still had quite a bit to go because I knew we hadn't done the mission at the um, oil place where Dutch <laughs> leaves us. Um, and because we hadn't had Joe and Cleet in the gang yet, but here they are, so maybe we are actually a lot closer <laughs> to the end than I thought, which is scary. It looks like at the moment we do only have Sadie's mission as the main mission, so I can't remember if either it just needs a day or so for the next mission to pop up, um, or if we do have to clear Sadie's and then it goes into the next band of... Um, gold missions, so oof. it's definitely happening all very fast, isn't it? I don't know if it's just me. I felt like Arthur sounded very pointed during that mission where we rescued the eagle flies. Why is the camera? Oh, not again. Every time. I might have to find another place to stand because they <laughs> the bounty hunters always come after me. Um when I'm up there. It just sounded like he had quite a, like a harsh tone, but then I know that in the first playthrough, in the High Honor playthrough, um, yeah, he was pretty cheesed off with Dutch, so it could just be how he is regardless. Oh, Bill, what are you doing? <laughs> wow. Wow, Bill. <laughs> it is always a pleasure to be doing a mission with Charles, though. He is just so cool. Like, why is he with us? <laughs> He could just be his own one-man gang. I reckon everything we've done he could probably pull off with like a fraction of the dead bodies <laughs> and as much of the loot and stuff if not more. So yeah, he is one capable man. Yeah, we've got a lot of camp conversations and stuff cropping up. I guess because now we've done like a mission, I guess there's more being triggered, especially with Joe and Cleet in camp, but... It's almost like Micah seems to have this air about him, like he knows he's won. 
He's no longer trying to play the manipulative game. He's just like walking up to the campfire, almost like he's trying to impersonate Dutch when Dutch would do his like leadership speeches and be like, hi everybody, this is what we're all gonna be doing. This is what I need you all to do. Like Micah, who even is Micah, he's just one of the gang members, he's not the leader, is walking up to the campfire now and is like, I need you all to be doing this. And I don't know, I'm like, get back in your box, Micah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, it's, it is like he has this air now of, you know, I've made it. I'm better than all of you, you know, I'm Dutch's like protege and you're all just gang members. So he like has this air of superiority over us and this like confidence of like, he knows he's basically there now. He no longer needs to kind of, not that he was ever pleasant, but he's no longer trying to like chummy up to Arthur or anything like he used to do. Um, now he's just full on like being mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't like that. That's making my eyes feel weird. Next time, hopefully Bill has found his way around that bucket. <laughs> we'll give him a few days. Um, we'll do that Sadie mission um, and see what other missions pop up. But I can't remember enough of the last, the, my first playthrough to tell exactly how many missions we've got left, but yeah, not many, that's for sure. So, I will see you next week for some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you so much for joining me today or tonight, wherever you are. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Now I'm going to go and sleep. <laughs> so have a fantastic week, guys, and I will see you next Sunday for the next episode. Take care. Bye, everybody.